Wow! Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. To begin a great relationship, know what you want. Know what the needs of your body are and what the needs of your mind are. What fits with you, what fits well with you. There are millions of men and women, and some of them will make a good match for you, and others won't. The two of you only need to be like a key and a lock, a match that works. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 22, NASDAQ down, up 1, SP's down 2. Gold, gold contract flat, 18.34 an ounce. We have silver down 6 cents, $21, 8 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude. Down a buck ninety, eighty-two dollars thirty-two cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. A ten-year note up seven ticks, trading one hundred seven ten. Thirty-year down three ticks at one eleven thirteen. And king dollar, king dollar trading down four hundred fifty-three ticks at one hundred six three forty-six. Euro at one hundred five, yen's at one forty-eight, and the British pound is at one twenty-one to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. <coughs> what we got out here is this market's waiting for these job numbers tomorrow. And I got a feeling these job numbers are going to be light, and this market probably wants to pop. So if we go back three days, right, what you had is that you take a look at it. You came back to the breakout area. We came back to... Basically, what is that, 80 million and 100 million on the um, SPY, and it came back with 105. Then yesterday, we did 87. Now, today, you're doing 52. But what you had happen here also is that watch. You're doing 52, but this rejected lower price out here this morning. So we take, let's go look at the futures. You'll see the futures. It looked like it could be could be a horror show, and this morning because the bottom line, you know, thing is down to forty two fifty eight, and then guess what? You know, about ten thirty eleven o'clock, just started to take off. So it's at the top of the range right now. That's where we're sitting right now. That is going to be predicated. I'll go, I'm going to go right to the dollar because the <laughs> it's just it's, it, this is just wild, man. I mean, you can see the dollar. The dollar had a one-way route on the way down today. Now, I'm going to bring this over here because this is the picture. This is our, our man, Mr. Bud Rolfs, right, the channel master. And what you want to really get your head wrapped around on this, there's not so much the, the, the channels are going to be important because if we have one more down day, we will break this channel. But what I want you to really look at is that since July, this is so unusual, since July, every time that the dollar has pulled back, you didn't have more than a two-day pullback. You know, look at this. Here, one day, rejected it, you're higher again. Here, it was only one day. Here, it was one day. Here's two days. Here, it was one day. Here, well, I can't count that. I mean, that's really one day. This is two days. That was like four days ago last week, and here's two days. So that's how strong the dollar has actually been, running higher. So we'll see how this shakes out tomorrow because the jobs number comes out at 8.30. If this goes down another half a point, you're going to break the channel. Now, what does happen when you break a channel line, the bottom line is that way you're going to go back up and test it. But we'll see how this shakes out, man. That's the bottom line. If we go, I'm going to go right from there to the bond market because they're all in correlation. And the 10-year... You know, bottom line, you know, the, the, the cool thing, like, I'm looking and I'm, I'm, I'm saying, okay, has this bottomed? I mean, I thought it bottomed a couple weeks ago, and it didn't. And it's like, okay, one of the things that, you know, you came down, you rejected lower price yesterday. But what's also happening is that you can't turn on any type of financial news without everyone just talking about bonds. So it's like, what are these deals? You know, if you remember, you Tigers and Tigresses, we came to the 
Um, the one we did at the World Trade Center in Boston, the uh, webinar, not the webinar, that was, that was live, actually. And I remember Tom Dorsey, when he started off, uh, he does this deal with magazines. And as soon as the magazine, as soon as it's on the front page of the magazine, forget it, it's over, right? So it is intriguing that, you know, we're pretty close to that type of situation. The real kicker, though, is that do you just get a dead cat bounce and rates stay, you know, at the, you know, 4.5% on the 10-year, or 4% even, you know, instead of going like the, you know, the sweet spot in the 10-year would be about 35 to 3. And what I'm saying, what I mean by that, folks, is that if you can get the 10-year down to that, what ends up happening is that that releases pressure on the marketplace, on the mortgage market, all of the above. You can see this 4.7 equals almost 7.5 uh, to, to almost 8, you know, mortgage, which is about as intense as you can get. Well, in this, in this day and age, okay, because the bottom line is that, you know, people, they're, they're talking about the aspect, hey, this can get higher, they've been a lot higher. Well, they were a lot higher, folks, when prices were a lot lower. <laughs> you know, the, the, the correlation is about as intense as you can get, okay? They, we didn't have rates at 8 and 10% when the normal house is like 400,000. The normal house, in fact, I'm going to pull that up. I bet the normal house then was like 40,000. But probably 10 times more than that. We take a look at the gold contract, hasn't been able to get off the bottom. You know, gold contract, 158,000. They're not sinking it, but the bottom line is that it hasn't been able to catch a bid. If we go to the silver contract, kind of the same set, well, it is the same setup, the exact same setup. And, you know, this market now is waiting for tomorrow morning for sure. So the job numbers come in light. That's going to be another piece of information that would say that, okay, they're not going to go up anymore. The question is, is that how long are they going to keep it sideways and how long are they going to keep it tight? Dow Industrial's down 12, NASDAQ's off 10, S&P's off 5. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.